Hello everybody, Very Scooter here. Welcome back to more Link's Awakening, the remake. Hey, I have good news! Let me just, uh... I'm not insane! More or less, my math is not horribly off. I'm not missing an, a tremendous amount of piece of heart, like I said at the end of the last episode. I thought I had somehow missed five pieces of heart. But it looks like we are only missing a piece of heart, as I have mentioned that I know exactly where it is. And we are also missing one secret seashell as well. So at this point, we're practically on 99% for completion. Well, after we do something else. See, in between episodes, I did what I promised I would do. I did some rupee grinding, and also did a little research on the chamber stones. How much did that money did I think I needed approximately? A bit. Now, each of these chamber stones, as I look this up, the one chamber stone we bought, I believe was available ever since dungeon 3 or 4, but basically from every dungeon from, I think from dungeon 4 going forward, every dungeon you complete in the game gives you another chamber stone. So I believe, unfortunately, you do have to do a little bit of grinding in this game. And where I did most of my grinding, I don't have any footage of it anymore, but I will tell you that where I did the majority of my grinding was the river game. You spend $100 to get in, but you could easily make about three to four hundred, dollars well, well, you spend 100 rupees to get in, but you easily spend about, or you easily make about three to 400 rupees, depending upon your creativity with a hookshot, every time you complete the river raid. So that's a nice bit there. And, okay, so we're out of those to buy. May have overshot. It's fine, there's nothing else we have to buy, so it's not like I'm a detriment to any sort of society at this point. I have just now realized this shield looks like the wooden shield does in the original game. That's cute. But anyway, at this point, at this point we need to head up the mountain. And instead of doing a screen fade like I always do, let me do the clever thing. By warping away and using a black screen for transition. Ha ha! But anyway, I came out here to Dompe Shack because we have cleared the Eagle's Tower, so we do have to give him some stuff. So we do have a dungeon of his to complete. Hello, Dompe. Sure, I went up in Eagle's Tower and I got frustrated at said tower, and now I'm here to take it out on you. I've got a couple new chamber stones, Dompe. Yeah, new chambers. And there he goes. His brain kicked off. So let's see his new challenge. So she's the sword. Oh. Interesting. No swords. I'm sorry, what? This sounds amazing. Except I have to spend a lot of time. Inefficient. So don't place any chambers that you can't get through without whacking something with a sword. Oh, so he's got it all set up where the sword does damage to you. Okay, fair enough. Let's look at some of our rooms. So we have the Eagle Tower entrance. We've got the Eagle Fight. But I'm just gonna... I'm gonna overlap these. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a keep it simple, stupid, like I have been for a lot of these. So, um, uh, well, let's look at some of our new rooms. No new rooms in this tab. Three new rooms here. Let's see, we got. Okay. They really like these rooms with the staircases in them and the top down, don't they? Oh, that's the bottom up. Okay, so boss fight and that room from the very end of the last dungeon. Okay, nothing new here. I'm just keeping you with me while I go through these r new rooms here. Just see what we got here. Face man in a room. Okay, interesting place for that. 
angry Hinox in that room. We seem to be getting a lot of boss chambers, it seems. And what do I have here? I don't know, I feel like keeping you with me while I just scroll through all these really quick. Wizards, okay, I had to look. Don't swing your sword! Oh, you don't need to worry about me. Alright, well, that's what we have to work with. So, let me... Let me go ahead and get to work on this. I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. I paid like no attention to what I put down, so let's hope I didn't make too many rooms where I have to swing my sword. I just... Let me replace the boss there. So Wait. Well, if that's the case, I'm putting this guy in instead. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to need my boomerang. Do I have my boomerang equipped? I bet I don't. All right. So I'm mashing the B button, no B button option right now. So I'm probably gonna be using the boomerang and the and the bow a lot. Can I? Uh, you know what? Oh, I missed. I don't know how I missed that huge open pit, but I did. There, problem solved. Now, I don't remember what direction I set myself in, up to go in. I guess either direction, so I just open everything up. I like how I didn't even check which way everything was going to go. I just kind of threw things down. Because uh, I would like to go to the, to the stairs in the upper left before I go to the ones on the right, so... Ow. Could you don't, maybe? Well, it's just me and my boomerang. That's how we're going to handle this one. It's a unique dungeon. It's a, it's a unique... Uh, I just clipped the platform doing that, by the way. It's a unique kind of dungeon. It's... I don't know. I kind of like it. I wonder if you can... I wonder if you're building your own dungeons, if you can set these stipulations. Because, man, I'm kind of glad we don't have any... Uh, I'm really kind of glad we don't have any- Oh! How'd I mess that up? My- There we go. Wait, how did- Brain? There we go. Um. Oh, you made this one stack, didn't you? Dang it. Fine, come at me, bro. Broski. Brostradamus. Brodowski. Um. But yeah, I wonder if you can set those, st those stipulations up to have a dungeon conform to a certain pattern, so to say. Or to have a certain clear condition. I really hope Bombs Boy's up. Otherwise, I'm, I'm fish out of water at this point. Yeah, they do. Okay, we're fine. I highly doubt the boat. Yeah, okay, I thought so. The bow can't break those. So we can go through these artist presses. But yeah, if you could set it to like, you know, like how Dompey's been doing, you know, with the three heart run that we basically had to do, and with the, uh... Oh, what's the other thing? The three heart run. And... Getting a little, getting a little too carried away with myself. The three heart run and currently the no sword challenge. I wonder if like people could take that and turn that into, you know, if a Super Zelda maker ever happened, turn that into their own, you know, semi cruel clear conditions, so to say. I mean, I guess it depends upon what the team was that made Mario Maker, because the team that made Mario Maker, who 
created the clear conditions option, I feel like they would be given full like full power over the Zelda make the Zelda dungeon maker at that point. Hey, 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 hey. Who said? Did mom say you could do that? Well mom's lying. Hush. Uh Okay. Can still defeat a pole's voice. I feel like this this is intentionally set up this way. Like really intentionally set up this way. Oh jeez. Random dungeon generation, why do you do this to me? And something else I guess I wanna prop uh put out as a propo proposal to you guys is um Okay. Go anywhere but here. Uh, something I'll put out as a proposal while we're on the topic of building dungeons is if I were to take the time, if I were to take the, a moment here and actually like do a, like take these stencils that they've got out there and try and make my own dungeon, would you guys want to see that? I'm not sure if I would jump on that immediately or if that would be like a bonus video, especially considering how long, how far in the future I record videos normally. If, if that would even see the light of day in time for the end of the series. But maybe like, as a one-off video, I could come back and... Alright, that's why I opened... That's why I made this room as I did. Maybe in the future I could come back and just... You know, with a little bit of planning, just make my own... Make my own dungeon here. With the free flow creation. Instead of the stencils that Dompe set up before us. Again, my creativity... My creativity, big, small. So... Take that... Take that uh, statement with a grain of salt as to what I could put together. Although I'm pretty sure if I really sat down with it over an extended period of time, I could probably make something really, really mean for a dungeon. Like using... Uh, colored floor switches and all that jazz. Did I make this? I don't remember if I made this like this. Hey, you should come up here. I missed. Why are you running? I can just stand right next to him and spam it. That's hilarious. Hey. Why are you running? <laughs> I feel like that has to be some form of oversight by the devel by the uh, developers of that of that mini boss. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, we got this. Listen, the boomerang is overpowered. It does damage. For no good reason. Well. Let's head up to let's finally head up to the night to the nightmares room of this of this hodgepodge of a dungeon I've made. And see if you can de indeed defeat Moldorm with Boomer Kawanger. What is the joke I'm trying to make with this? I don't know. I've been making it for the past three years now or something like that. You have you have one guy play play Mega Man X for, for the first time in his life and all of a sudden he's making constant references to it. Hi, Moldor. Hey, we're going to run an experiment today. I missed. I missed again. Okay, fine. I'll get close. Yes, you can. This makes this a unique challenge. Give me it. Come here, Angry Hamburger. Angry Hamburger, present tail. Uh. Ow. Uh-huh. I don't think we're on final hit yet. Oh, gosh. Nope, we are in angry boss mode. And there goes that. You know, 
you would think this would be a lot harder. Like, it would end up being a lot harder, but it, it wasn't. Uh, I had one hand on my boomerang the whole time, if that's what you mean. And another chamber. And a hearts effect. And that's it for now. So, Dompe does have one... F does have one final challenge for us, but... That won't be until we're done with Dungeon 8. Speaking of Dungeon 8... Let's get on the way to Dungeon 8. So, I'm meeting you up here by the uh, Rooster Guy's house, or Luigi as I call as I call him. But... Just so, just so we can see. Here's where the rooster ends up, if you do... It at the end, after you're done with the Eagle Tower. And this is just... This is just his life now. He just hangs out with the flying rooster. Sir, sir, that is dangerously close. Da that's, that's, that's trying to go outside. I would like to, uh, you know what? He's got it. But anyway. When you do come up here to this area. Give me that money. Ooh, I don't need it, but I'm up here. Uh, this is an area we, I started to take us to earlier, but, uh, hi, Marin. Hi! Well, you should stay put. Listen, when I say grab my hand, you should grab my hand. Grab my hand! Uh, yes. What do you want to know, Marin? Way to break up in a tense situation, Terran. You know, you kind of ruined things, buddy. You know, I'm not a fan when she's not smiling. Oh, hello, Mr. Al. You didn't have a musical entrance. There goes sang a song of Friends of the Egg. Her bow of the Windfish is a song of awakening. Did she actually intend to wake the Windfish? The next siren's instrument is in the West. Play your melody so the unliving stones might hear. Show your courage, the Windfish waits for you. Hoot! Thank you, Mr. Owl. I can no longer hear out of two of my three ears. But yes, we uncovered this area earlier, which is how we get west. I'm going through it again, just in case people didn't see that episode or whatnot. Which, um, I guess where that bat is, there's a bomb of wall, which leads to a heart piece. I'm kind of just recovering my bases, just in case anybody happened to not see the epi any episodes in question that would help them in their discovery of how to beat the game. I mean, I kind of feel like I need to. More or less because I had that, that moment at the end of the last episode where I was kind of having a... I was going full on raving lunatic trying to find the last thing. Ow. But anyway, as I said before... As I said before, the, as, we go th as we go on our journey here to get to the next dungeon... By the way, this is Spectacle Rock. Apparently, there's just always a Spectacle Rock now in a Zelda game. Did you just try and shoot me? Anyway, grab your bombos and bomb this open. But as I said, as you proceed through this area and up this mountainside, we will be getting ourselves, excuse me, closer to, closer to the end of the game and everything else that we need to complete the game will basically be on the trek there. Now, you may have seen the fire break for a pause. This is why you need the shield. I know in the Game Boy game you could cheese this part, but in this game you can't, so get your shield out to deflect away some of the fire. Congratulations, that is the only time the shield is useful on the overworld map. That spot right there. Oh my god, there's a warp point here. Oh, I'll say it's part of bus. Oh, that's where it is. Hey guys. Wanna know where the last secret seashell is? It's not like it was highlighted. 
if you collect a lot of these, something good could happen to you. Huh, I wonder. And there is the last dungeon right over there. We're not going to go there quite yet. I'm actually going to extend out the video a little bit longer here. While I go ahead and warp us back to Secret Seashell Manor to see what reward waits there for us. Because we have all 50 Secret Seashells at this point. That was it. That was the last one. Hang on. This makes me think while I'm warping. This tells me that there is a warp pad here where we just warped from. And there's also another one soon. There's still another warp pad even after that. Anyway, I may have made a pit stop here in between episodes just to deposit a couple shells. But we get to see what the number 50 is. Beep! Oh! You've discovered every secret! The proof is in the seashells you hold. I acknowledge the perseverance you took. May fortune bless you of your own. Hey, thanks! Thanks! I did a lot of fishing for those last two, ma'am! Oh, money! Thank you, I love money. And it's for a chamber stone. So a chamber stone is what you get for is what you get at the end of all of the secret seashells. So if you don't care about that stuff, just get 40. Just get 40, get yourself a Koholin sword. And that's it. It's now a done deal. With that. Let's head back up to the let's head back up to the tall tall mountains. Oh my gosh, these warps are so useful. They're even more useful than I want to give them credit for. Anyway, also at this point, switch over to the uh, song of reviving. I forget what it's called. Hey, levers, levers, leave me be. Anyway, for any reason, if you need to get down really quick, here's a shortcut. To down the cliff just below, leads you right outside the mysterious forest. And have to clear away a couple pterodactyls of all things. Let's go ahead and open the way to Dungeon 8. Uh, hello? Huh. That's. Far more intimidating than I remember being. Well, this just tells me I need to bomb. Ow. Oh. That's what you're supposed to do? Okay, gotcha. Ah, I see your face. Ah, I see ya. Come here, try and hit me. Good shot. Hey, I see your face. Come here. Show me show me those big beautiful eyes. Okay. Why are you so persistent and annoying? I understand that I just went full face tank on that, but hey, look at my look at my reward for for face tanking. A fairy. Anyway, I'm going to end things off here. Everyone, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Link's Awakening, the remake. And come back next time, we will start off Turtle Rock. I'll see you folks then. Take care.